A crime unsolved, the suspect living in infamy. This month marks 20 years since one of Arizona's most violent cases. Robert Fisher accused of murdering his wife and children and blowing up their Scottsdale home in 2001. To this day, he has not been found. ABC 15's Mike Pelton with the case even time can't forget. And we must warn you, this story contains some graphic details that may be disturbing to some viewers. This is by far the most heinous crime that, that we've had here in Scottsdale. Robert Fisher called Armed and Dangerous, a mainstay on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted. Fisher, the center of a story with no happy ending. Big fire. Can you see it? Big fire. It's a really big fire behind. It just like blew up. A story at this point with no ending at all. There are people yeah. in there and this whole house exploded. April 10th, 2001, the Fisher home goes up in flames. The bodies of Mary Fisher and the couple's two children, 12-year-old Brittany and 10-year-old Bobby, found inside. They died um, brutally. So Mary was shot and uh, her throat was cut. And both uh, Bobby and Brittany uh, had their throat slashed almost from ear to ear. Police say the gas line to the home severed and rigged to explode. Robert Fisher last spotted at an ATM withdrawing 280 bucks the night before the fire. That's the last piece of information that we had or that first breadcrumb as I would call it to say here's where we can positively say he was here at this date at this time and the rest of it has been the greatest mystery that we've had. Mary's forerunner found 10 days later in the woods near Payson, along with the family dog, Blue. Robert, never seen again. I am right now assigned to the, uh, the cold case, Robert Fisher case, yes. Scottsdale Police Detective John Heinzelman. The area where we found the forerunner is a very remote, very rural area. When it's all said and done, there's a lot of caves up there. There's caving and spelunking groups that, that regularly go out. Uh, the other part to that is it is within, is less than a mile away from um, the Apache uh, Indian Reservation. And that is a sovereign nation that we don't travel onto. Happy birthday to you. Home videos show a happier time. Robert, seemingly a good dad to young Brittany and Bobby. But in a police report, interviews with family and friends describe Robert Fisher as a quirky guy, an outdoorsman, and troubled by his parents' divorce. Perhaps that makes a motive. The fear that he, that we believe he had of being divorced uh, was very strong. So it was something to, he's in despair. He's in his, his lowest moment. He's, a, he's afraid that Mary is going to divorce him and he's going to lose his children. Um, so out of desperation, he makes this act. He had told me he'd never go through that again. Greg Cantelmo knew Mary and Robert well. Don't okay. say anything. The family's pastor who helped them deal with their marital struggles. Mary was sweet. Um, she was, uh, she, she probably, he would probably say she was uh, uh, a little difficult at home, but I think anybody with, you know, everybody has problems. They didn't have any any unique problem that was different than anybody else. Greg tells me he hopes Mary and the kids are remembered more than their accused killer. So when you hear the, the name Robert Fisher now, what does that stir in you? What does that mean to you? Well, it just brings brings everything, everything back. Um, and to think that I was uh, not just his pastor, but his friend. I, I And we would talk and I knew of some of the difficulties and yet no concept whatsoever that he would go there. And depending on who you ask, you get different theories as to whether Robert Fisher took his own life, his body never found in the woods, or he's alive somewhere. A former neighbor and former investigator tell me they believe he is. The current detective isn't so sure. Robert Fisher, do you think he's alive? I personally, uh, I'm leaning towards the fact that, that he is not. Only so much as to say that we've never had one, uh, one verified sighting. We're told Robert Fisher walks with an exaggerated posture due to back surgery. If Robert Fisher's alive and happened to see this, what, what would you say to him? Um, I would ask him, it's 
Uh, I would say it's been long enough. He needs to come in. Robert, hi Robert. There is a $100,000 reward in this case. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. For an in-depth look into the disappearance of Robert Fisher and the ongoing investigation, check out our special coverage at abc15.com slash Robert Fisher.